Hi, thanks for joining me today. I am going to be making a tumbler. This is going to be my first attempt at an alcohol ink swirl. And I've got several shades of blue, uh, as well as a silver mixative and some casting craft white that I've mixed with alcohol. Um, so I'm just going to put down some Artworks resin, art resin as a as a base layer here not super thin like you would use to apply glitter but not like a flood coat that you would use as a as a final coat somewhere in between so that I have a little bit of play time with it and the alcohol ink has you know something to drop into so this is a 30 ounce I think it's called a modern curve I'm not entirely sure Every size and shape of tumbler has a different name to it. And I've never done one this shape before, but I believe it's a modern curve. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a big tumbler. <laughs> Anyways, and it's, uh, I have a base coat, uh, spray paint, Rust-Oleum 2X French Blue. So the alcohol ink colors that I'll be using are Glacier, which is kind of a cobalt blue, indigo which is a nice dark blue with a little you know a little hint of purple in it uh, denim which is kind of like a blue gray and monsoon which is um, more like a teal like a dark teal gray these are all ranger ink that i just you know picked up from michael's the mixative is also ranger ink So a lot of people use Blanco Blanco, Pinata's Blanco Blanco, for the white part of the alcohol ink swirl. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of that look. I don't like too much white. I don't like how sometimes it looks um, celled or bubbled, you know, like I don't like that, that look. I kind of want something that's going to swirl in nicely and not be a stark contrast to the blues. So that's why I'm trying the silver mixative. Now, I have watched other tumbler makers and one especially, I'll link her, her um, channel, looks into swirl, often warns of using the mixatives because they have a tendency to take over. But I'd rather have too much silver <laughs> than, than have the wrong white effect. So I'm kind of thinking that this might be the lesser of two evils. And I'm going to try a little bit of the casting craft mixed with a little bit of alcohol to see if maybe the white isn't as, as bright and overtaking as what you see sometimes with other alcohol ink swirls that use the Blanco Blanco. Anyway, this is my hope. Never done this before. I'm just going to give it a try and see what happens. All else fails. Hey, it's a pretty color. Isn't that the excuse that we use? But no, seriously, I really like the blue and the way it's looking so far. Um, I just drop the different colors on randomly. When I add the white and or the silver later on, or I guess I'm doing it right here, uh, hopefully that will kind of break things up a little bit. So I'm adding the cast and craft white that's mixed with alcohol and it's really not doing a whole lot. It is sort of thinning out the colors of like the alcohol ink colors and sort of diluting them. And I'm not really liking that at all. So the colors went from like a really nice bright color and they're kind of starting to wash out so I'm not a fan of how this is looking right now I mean on the good on the positive side it's not adding any white so <laughs> but it's I don't like how it's washing it out
So after looking at it a little bit, I decide that I need to add some more color in. So I pick up the different shades of blue and start just adding a little, you know, adding some more drops of the blue in to try to get the color saturated again. So here I'm adding the silver and you can immediately see <laughs> what what they warn of with mixative. They definitely are powerful and they basically just wipe out anything that's underneath them. So essentially they're quite opaque and they they spread it spread quite quickly. So I'm going back and I'm putting in some color in those sections just to try to, to break it up so that I don't have these huge silver blobs everywhere. So it needs to be said, don't use a torch when you're using alcohol ink. Use your heat gun. Here I'm trying to get the resin quite warm again so that it moves around and things start actually swirling into each other and and moving around and it didn't really take much and you can see how the resin is starting to spread out and there's starting to be swirls happening and the silver is definitely a big old bully so that things aren't just swirling around horizontally on the cup. I pick it up, move it around, tilt it back and forth so that I get some movement vertically as well within the resin and, you know, give the swirls a little bit more interest rather than just going around and around. So the next day I'm going to apply this little water slide. It says this bleep is stronger than any storm. It is a water slide that I purchased in a mystery pack through Pressing Images. Link will also be in the description. Now this water slide is printed on dark water slide paper, which is supposed to be suitable for dark background as opposed to light background. Now I have a mix of kind of light and dark with the dark blues and the silver. So I'm, I'm hoping that this will show up nicely. Water slides are super easy. You just, um, I cut it down as small as possible um, around, the, around the image or around the wording. And you just have to let it soak in. I use tepid water from the tap. I just let it soak in the water for a minute or two. Can you see my dog off to the left? <laughs> He harassed me the entire time I did this, trying to jump. There he is, jumping up on the counter, me pushing him off. So I eyeball things for better or for worse, usually for slightly worse. Um, and I really need to learn patience on measuring and centering and leveling. <laughs> But I eyeballed this thinking that, you know, I would get this on pretty straight just by eyeballing it. I sprayed the cup first with water before I applied the decal and um, the water slide. And it just slides off the backing. Once you've soaked it for a minute or two, it slides right off. So I just play around with it, getting it centered. I decide that, you know, I need to move it because I don't like how it's how the how the text is showing so i moved it around to kind of get it so that it, it shows better part of the text is pink and part of the text is blue so i didn't find that the blue text showed up on the blue background all that well i mean makes sense right and luckily until you actually start squeezing the water out from under 
the water slide, they're still relatively easy to move around. They kind of just slide. As long as your cup is wet and there's water between the cup and the water slide, it moves around. You don't have an indefinite amount of time to do this, but you do have a few minutes to, to play with the water slide. So because I'm doing this in my kitchen and my dog is harassing me, I completely forgot to bring my squeegee, so I just used my fingers to squeeze out the water from under the water slide. It might look like I'm pressing relatively hard, but I'm very, very gently squeezing out the water from under the slide. And then I just use a coffee filter or a paper towel to just blot, gently blot any extra water that's kind of hanging around the edges and get it as dry as possible. Coffee filters are great because they don't leave as much lint behind as a, like a paper towel or a cloth would do. So I showed this cup to a coworker and she bought it from me. So I added her name with um, just permanent vinyl. I used a dark purple offset or background to the pink um, text of her name. So here I'm just applying another layer of Artworks resin over her name. And then I will clean the uh, clean the rim again and it should be good to go. I do want to mention that I clean and sand my rims before adding the final top coat so that you have that fine line of exposed stainless steel before the top coat and then I top coat over top of that to make a good seal. So here is the final result as it is spinning and I gave it to Reagan. Now, you would think that this is where it ends, but unfortunately, <laughs> this is not where it ends. She came to me and said that her husband pointed out to her that I spelled her name wrong. So I insisted on taking the cut back and fixing it. I wasn't sure how I was going to fix it because the her name is under um her name is under epoxy already. But what I did was I made the exact same exact same font and everything. I spelled the name correctly, made it slightly larger and just put the vinyl over where her misspelled name was and it looks not too bad there's a small area that you can see um, a little bit of the purple vinyl from the previous application um, but really I would rather have that <laughs> than have her walking around with a misspelled, with her name misspelled. I was mortified. I just, I couldn't believe it. Because I looked at her name and I went, oh, that's a different name to spell that, to spell Reagan. And I got home and didn't even think about it and just spelled it the way I thought it was spelled, which was completely wrong. Anyways, shout out to Reagan. She was completely gracious and kind and understanding. And we had a little bit of a giggle about it. Reagan also... Um, is a maker and does resin art. So she obviously understands that nothing is 100% perfect and mistakes are made. And I'm thankful that she gave me the opportunity to correct it for her. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she likes the final result that her name is spelt correctly. And, um, you know, has a little bit of story to tell about her, about her cup. 
So thanks everybody for watching. If you make a mistake on something, don't beat yourself up. Just try to solve the problem. And, you know, I had thought if this isn't going to work, I will just make her another one because you have to, you have to make it right. You don't have to make it at 100% perfect, but it should be as close to perfect as you can make it. And obviously the names have to be spelled correctly. And I'm quite positive that I'm not the first one that has done this. So have a good laugh at yourself and, and, just, and just carry on and enjoy the process. So thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, leave a comment. Have a great day.